This video will highlight the record and replay feature new to version 8 of Message Broker. We will do this using a file handling scenario. This scenario receives a comma separated variable file. This file will be split into individual records, transformed to XML, augmented with the lookup data in a database and output to MQ. We will then see record and replay in action. An error will be introduced where lookup data is not available. This will cause a validation error on output. We will add the required data to the database and replay the message showing the successful output. Throughout this demo, we will see new features, including DFDL for modeling messages, in this case, our CSV message. Graphical mapping to simply drag and drop transformations, including the database lookups. A view of the new web admin console and the record and replay web interface. This is the wizard driven interface for describing our CSV files in DFDL. We provide our schema name and message name. and then describe our CSV file, for example, delimiters, number of fields, and escape characters. This generates a DFDL model, which we can then customize, for example, renaming records. Here we can see the overall solution as described. We have a library of reusable components, an application that defines our implementation, and two mappings. Here we can see the simple drag and drop nature of the mapping. We also have a database select, which we will map to the address record. We can bury into maps. Here we can see us creating a for each. Again, this will create a submap. And rather than drag and drop each field, we can auto map from input to output. Here is our test file. We can see we have three people defined in three records. The second record will be missing as a lookup in the database. Switching to the debugger, we can see this file be processed. The first file will be processed successfully. Here we can see the output message with an address. The second record will be missing an address because there was no data in the lookup database. This will cause an error that will be caught by record and replay. The final record will have an address and therefore will be output. Switching to MQ, we can see that we now have two messages on our output queue. The third message will arrive once we have completed record and replay. First, we can see the web admin perspective. This shows us our broker, our running applications, and our running libraries, and allows us to access the logs for that broker. This all in a web interface. Switching to the record and replay perspective, I can see the messages that have been processed by my broker. My first and last message were processed successfully, and these two me messages represent the data that was in error. Here we can see the exception, which we can download and view, and the bitstream, which means that we can replay this message. Selecting it and selecting replay will allow me to process that message on the replay destination. Here we can see that that's been processed successfully. In this case, I've updated the database to have this record contained within. So if we switch back to the debugger, we can now see that for first name two, 
we are now getting an address back. Therefore, the message is processed successfully. And we can see this on the output queue with the others. In this video, we have seen file processing by message broker. We've seen a comma separated file modeled in DFDL, split into individual records by the file input node, transformed to XML using graphical mapping, augmented with data from a database, and output to MQ. Where data wasn't available in the lookup database, we saw exceptions occur. These were recorded by the re new record and replay feature. And once the data was inserted into the lookup database, replay was used to reprocess the messages. We have also seen the web admin interface.